So, hey guys, Chelsea here. So, this is going to be my We Want Bonnie Level Limit Break Showcase. I just talked about her today and this buff just got released today. But I'm excited to try it. I made two teams with Bonnie as a sub. Uh, her utility is basically the same. You remove slot bind and special bind by 10 turns. One turn seed reduction, empty block on fair orbs become recovery. Then we have the big changes. The first one is that in characters get the two turn attack boost now instead of one. And it's also a bit buffed up to 2.75 times instead of 2.5 times. The other change is that before Bonnie had a one turn chain lock. And this has been changed to a two turn chain boundary. And that's a very big deal. Chain boundary is a much more useful buff in general. And we also have the fact that it's a two turn. So either you can use the attack boost and chain boundary on one stage if the boss has a revive or damage limit or such. But we can also pair this up with the Tesoro ship, level 12 plus 2, which extends the chain locks by one turn, so this becomes a three turn chain boundary. So we're going to be trying out both those possibilities in this video versus some arena content. And we're going to be starting with Arena Wolf, which is a pretty fitting arena since it's made for Int. And since we won Bonnie, is still an int attack booster. She fits the best on int teams, even if it's not required at all, really, since you can just rely on the shame boundary instead. Especially if you extend it with the Tesoro ship, like I will be doing in this video. Uh, for this team, as captains, I went with 6 plus V2 Shanks together with Robin, Robin Koala. Both are minus two speedrun captains, so we can no stall speedrun this. Uh, Robin Koala can also give us War Boost Color Affinity for two stages. Uh, they also let us resist a special reverse final stage, with, which turned out to not really matter, but yeah. Uh, we also have some nice supports to remove all of the debuffs stage three here. Not often you can build teams that just speedrun through this stage, so yeah. I'm pretty happy with this team. Uh, next stage, we're going to make some good use of Bonnie. This is the cool thing with this level limit break Bonnie when paired with the Sora ship because you can use her on the second to last stage to remove special bind, for example, which is really useful. But not only do you remove the special bind, you get that very important shame boundary and the sword ship will extend it to final stage. So you even get a very vital buff for that final stage. So I think that might be some usefulness this Bonnie will retain. Especially since it seems like the 6 plus doesn't have that the same reliable shame boundary which the 6 star Bonnie has. And the swap Robin Koalas, we can get that call off in the final stage. Final stage is going to be a big overkill, by the way. Hawkins removes the remaining debuffs here. And yeah, then we just kill. Uh, main issue with the sword ship is no easier perfect, but... Yeah, the thing is, I don't really struggle with hitting perfect. It's just that uh, when I haven't done it for a while, I'm just so used to not having to bother putting in my effort, so yeah. I usually end up doing some misses then. But yeah, we already have the Shame Boundary or Boost Call Affinity. Shanks gave us all other buffs we could ever want. Attack boost, uh, shame, shame boost, base attack boost. So we're pretty much set <laughs> after that. Brook to remove the damage reduction. And yeah, I just start the Shane and then um, get the kill. Very easy. But yeah, I got one more team and for next team, we're going to make some good use out of 
Bonnie's ability to get, give you two turn buffs, so final stage of Hawkins there's her revive. But with Bonnie we now have a two turn attack boost and we also have a two turn chain boundary. Final stage of Arena Hawkins also has special reavers which Bonnie handles. It's just that on this particular team we we actually don't need it, so it is what it is. Uh, I actually ended up using the Shirahoshi on this team. I just uploaded a video with her. Didn't get a lot of views at all, which I guess is not surprising, but yeah. Anyway, I didn't think I'd use her this soon, but I was building this team. I had two debuffs left to remove, stage 4 special bind and resilience. I looked at every special bind reducer that was in and checked if they had their support to remove resilience. And Shirahoshi was the only one who had that, but I had to remove two more turns of special bind. So I had to look through the spear reducers final stage, does any of them have special bind removing support? And yeah, we had this PvP Hody, and amazingly, his support also removes two turns of bind, which we also lacked. So this team ha got some amazing synergy all of a sudden, which is great. And even more synergy since Sh Shirahoshi also gives us damage reduction for final stage so we can survive. So I think this Shirahoshi showcase is actually better than the ones in <laughs> my showcase I did for her, so yeah. Sometimes it just ends up being like that. Uh, Atlas also very good here, of course, resisting attack down, which means Atlas is a new good captain for Hawkins in general. But also removes the damage reduction stage four, very useful and handles the block orbs. And then on the revive will remove attack down again. So yeah, good showcase by Atlas. And since we have a mono in team, we can use Atlas super. So you have used Bonnie now to get a 2 turn attack boost and chain boundary. Holder removes the despair, gives a, a useless color affinity. Super Swap, Nami Robbins, we keep the one orbs and they also give a 2 turn orb boost. So for the revive we will still have attack boost, orb boost, chain boundary and nearly a full board of one orbs. So yeah, it's going to be an incredibly easy kill and we survive thanks to Shirahoshi's damage reduction. But yeah, that's the end of this showcase. As said, this Bonnie buff is pretty damn good. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.